Between the rise of the Kimrog Empire and the tumultuous Demon Wars, there was an enigmatic era. A time when brave souls traversed oceans and continents in search of glory, riches, and power. Let us tell you of the days of high adventure. It's been an awkward day. I received a letter from an emissary from my family's estate. Little did I know, all this way my family would find me. The letter was vague, like everything from that man. It seems important enough to see what's going on for myself though. I gathered my belongings and some provisions for the three day trip. Upon arriving, in the distance, I see what looks to be my two brothers standing outside our family home. They were not kids anymore. There's some small chat between us, and the front doors creak open and standing before us is Obai, <laughs> our family's eldest and most trusted caretaker. So happy to see him. He seems genuinely happy to see us all. He leads us inside the courtyard and says that he needs to escort us to Father's study. Being summoned is just like him. <laughs> I was late to arrive, but expected. Entering his study brought back so many favorable and not favorable moments in my life. <laughs> One being kicked out of grade school after a fight, the lashing I took from my father was godly. Or, or the time he told me to marry Leanne daughter of a magistrate Quin Shi so that I can bring honor to the family like as if I was gonna do that and the time I was caught drinking during the assembly for the new commander of the province <sighs> so many memories father started to speak about some affairs he's been working on and wanted us to see them through oh and to escort mother and sister to this new land we own? When did this all happen? Father's reactions were typical. He seemed genuinely concerned about our family's well-being. But there seems to be more to this summoning. I just can't put two and two together. I left to study after talking to him alone and not gaining anything from that man to help me understand what's going on. I went downstairs to catch up with the rest of the brothers. There was a change of emotions when I saw mother and sister. Joy came to me when I saw my not so little sister. She was a grown woman now. I hope that she's not plagued by father's insatiable desire to gain honor and send her off to someone that she doesn't know or love. Soon after we all got ready for dinner, mother was beside herself seeing us all there for the first time in such a long time. Dinner went well. I played nice. A man father knew also joined us for dinner. A Mr. Jin Kwan Osari. He also spoke about the proposition father made to us earlier. The proposition for our family's security and profitability seemed genuine, but it's me a little worried. and that we were to meet a Captain Fu. Father seems to have all this thought out, but sometimes he just doesn't grasp what's ahead. But mother and sister seem willing, and if they can push forward, then so shall I. Father said that we would be leaving first light. All the provisions for our trip were already acquired by our staff. We all got up in the morning and began our trip to meet Captain Fu, Captain of the Celestial Queen. Well, 
Well, hello, it's me, Wizzy. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. And then don't forget to tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and crafting videos and DM tips and pro tips for vlogging and all sorts of gaming things.